Good for Hearts, winning at the home of their biggest rivals, bad for Hibs. Three straight defeats for new manager Colin Calderwood and ugly for Scottish football as all manner of missiles came raining down on Easter Road in the match that matters most in Edinburgh. For this latest derby, Hibs went in with the players who'd lost at Dundee United last time out. Derek Wyrdon, the skipper, and the sole striker. Half the team were derby debutants. Jim Jeffries made significant changes. Ian Black, David Templeton, and Stephen Elliott in. Callum Elliott, Suzo, and Darren Barr out of the team which lost to Kilmarnock. Highlights with Paul Mitchell. Alan Cornerwood looks on. Palazuelos on to Templeton. Nice play, moves away from Galbraith. It's away from Hart. And Bamba still going, David Templeton! Hearts take the lead at Easter Road with one of the best individual goals in the derby in a long time. Picked up inside his opponent's half. He just ran and ran, cut inside Saul Bamba, away from Miller. Watched where the goalkeeper was going, and David Templeton simply passed it into the back of the net. Absolute delight for Hearts, 90 minutes gone, they lead. Well, David Templeton, the hero, but the game will be held up for a moment or two. One or two flares have been thrown onto the field. The sand has been applied, but the smoke still escaping. As well as away, comes down onto Kyle. It's a lovely ball over the top, looking for Elliott, and Grounds came back. I think he touched it off the Hearts player. Kevin Kyle, just enough pace on the ball. The Grounds did enough. Back to the throw. Easily away by Hearts again. Kevin Kyle up against Hanlon. Hanlon away. That goes straight on to Elliot. Elliot moving through, but the referee's whistle's gone. Well, it certainly wasn't offside. It has to be for the little nudge by Kevin Kyle. Hanlon played it away. Kyle knocked him over. He would have been one of the last defenders. Oh, sends it long. Grimes gets involved. It comes off the arm of Stevenson. Free kick. Well, Hibs have had a good spell to the start of the second half. They've come from behind against Kilmarnock and Motherwell to win. The two victories in the SPL this season. Long from Boozy. Kyle wins it. Might come down onto Templeton. Oh, break for Elliott! 2-0 Hearts and the hero is Stephen Elliott. Played long towards Kevin Kyle. Templeton got the touch. Elliott was simply clinical. His first start, it's his first derby. It's his first Hearts goal. And Hearts lead at Easter Road by two goals to nil. Again, Hibs just passed the ball to Hearts. They've been so loose. Second Jonsson. On to Boozy. Boozy back on to Eggert Jonsson. There's another ball on the field at the moment. Eggert Jonsson looks up. That's a delightful cross. And Boozy sends it wide. That should have been three. He's only scored once for Hearts before. Came against Celtic. December 2009. But that's an inviting cross in between the defenders. He had to put that on target. Towards Scatcho. Oh, Rodden's come right through him. The referee's just yards away. This will be red. He was handed the captain's armband, but Derek Rodden was rash. And he's sent off in the Edinburgh Derby. Scatcho brought it under control. It was high, it was late. The studs were showing. It's an easy call for the ref. And now there's coins being thrown onto the field and other items as well. And Ian Kello will launch this long. Referee Willie Collum looks at his watch. The first Edinburgh derby of the season goes the way of the men of Maroon. Jim Jeffries a perfect three out of three on his return. It's the third straight SPL defeat for Hibs. 
It all went a bit mad in the end, Craig. Uh, the SPL will investigate the coin throwing, the lighters, the smoke bombs. It's a great fixture, you know it well. Could it be ruined by the idiots? Well, it's an unsavoury end and both clubs find themselves in the dock. They could be both fined and it's money they don't want to lose. And it's important for the fixture that the fans look forward to it. You don't want the build-up to be all about what's going to happen this time. It's back on January the 1st. Brilliant. New Year's Day. Everybody looking forward to it. It's at Tynecastle. You don't want it to become tit for tat. You know, they did that our ground. We're going to do it theirs. Hopefully Hibs and Hearts can get together and draw a line under this because the fixture is great and we want people looking forward to the football. You cannot let the minority do the game in for the majority of people. Thousands of people turned up, perfectly well behaved, want to see a decent game of football. Hopefully the next game we'll be talking about the football and not about the incidents off the park. A bit of player responsibility would be nice, but it doesn't help if the Hibs captain is behaving like a man on a mission. No, it wasn't what the manager was looking for when you give somebody a bit of responsibility. You know, you want him to set an example and the red mist came down, Derek Rad, and the challenge merited a red card, no question about that. You know, it's a horrible challenge and I've been sent off for stupidity myself and the minute you do it, you feel, what a fool. You've let yourself down, you've let your club down, the fans down, the manager down. Derek Radden will have gone through all these emotions and he's got to learn from that. He can't let it happen again. Derek Radden in the stand is no use to Hibs. They need him on the park, they need him scoring goals. The sooner he's back in the team, the better. I suppose the question now is going to be, will the manager retain Radden as the captain leading the team out or has that finished them in that capacity? But at the moment, I just think the important thing is draw a line under that game. Hibs have got to start picking up points and rather than in the team, we'll give them a far better chance. Let's finally talk football, if that's not a little <laughs> bit offbeat. Uh, two great goals from a Hearts point of view, from Hibs' side of things, shocking. Well, Colin Calderwood is a top-class defender. We'll hate seeing that. Fantastic run from David Templeton. Take absolutely nothing away from him. Great pace, great touch on the ball, but when you go past five players and nobody lays a glove on him, and he gets in the box, decent finish, but defensively poor. And then just an ordinary ball forward, free header for Kevin Kyle. And then the two hearts forwards, hungrier than the Hibs defenders. And that goal killed the tie. When that went in, Hibs had no way back. 2-0 hearts in the dark.